uh, do you recommend people do if they want to help participate? Just go to your websites? Yes, or email me at uh, bettym19 at manspring.com. And uh, that little resource guide tells you how to get it out of your state. And, you know, we've already had people trying to help get it out of New Mexico and Hawaii. And we just have to keep up. The all right. All. Let's uh, let's take calls with you. Betty Martini, Aspartame, next on Coast to Coast AM. On our next Coast to Coast program, Claude Swanson joins us. The Synchronized Universe, New Science of the Paranormal. Get ready for that. And when we come back with Dr. Betty Martini, we'll take phone calls from you as we talk about Aspartame on Coast to Coast AM. Betty, I'm getting a lot of messages about Splenda. What about that? Splenda is a core carbon poison, and no one should use it. Uh, it is. They took the hydroxyls of, of sugar and, and exchanged them for chlorine, and uh, it also is very detrimental for diabetics. And it's interesting, on the trip, I saw two or three people who had a red face, which is something that uh, it causes. And, in fact, I think it was Dr. Marcoa that sent us some of the articles of pictures of people that were so red. And uh, as soon as I asked them were they using Splenda, they said yes. And, of course, we have information on it and and, uh, gave it to them. But uh, there's also a sulfine potassium, which caused cancer and leukemia in original studies. So this is the reason it's been so hard uh, until... Um, they may just like sugar to get something safe to people because all these chemicals are made with things that are really very bad for you. Okay, to the phones we go now. We'll pick it up first time. Caller in Juneau, Alaska. Sasha's with us. Hi, Sasha. Yes, hello. Yeah. Yes, I'd like to ask uh, Dr. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Betty? Dr. Yes. Betty Martini. Uh, yes, I'd like to ask, uh, how about all the energy drinks that we uh, drink, like the Red Bull and everything that has aspartame in it? Because I've, I've read those labels on there, and they, sit, they have the labels right on there in little print. Yes, a Red Bull comes uh, with aspartame and without aspartame. One of them is sugar-free and one is not. But uh, if it's on the label, don't use it. Uh, it's required anything that has aspartame in it to have a PKU warning for phenylketonurics who cannot metabolize the phenylalanine. So it should be it should be on the label. Many energy drinks have them. You have to be very careful. Okay, there you go, Joe in Lake Charles, Louisiana, east of the Rockies. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, hi. Um, I was wondering. Uh, my wife actually uh, suffers from uh, fibromyalgia. Which you know, of course, I don't really know what they're what, what causes it. And seeing as how she was saying aspartame causes all these other neurodisruptive and autoimmune diseases, has there ever been a study done linking or you know attempting to uh, show if there was any link between aspartame use and fibromyalgia? Yes, there was a study at the University of Florida, and it showed that when aspartame and MSG were eliminated, that fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue also were eliminated. And Dr. Roberts has written a a physician paper on it. He calls it a junk bucket diagnosis. In other words, nobody knows what caused it. So, you know, if they have joint pain, they call it fibromyalgia. And joint pain uh, is a uh, symptom of aspartame because it hardens the synovial fluids and uh, the toxic components of aspartame cause this very serious... uh, joint pain. So that's usually what it is in most cases. If we get them off aspartame, they usually, they're fine. Somebody sends me a message, says he's been on aspartame for years, doesn't have any problems at all. Well, uh, people that say that uh, do have problems. Nobody uh, does not have problems from it. In fact, even when my daughter got married, I told her fiancé that he wasn't marrying her until she, uh, until he got off of aspartame. He says, I don't have any problems. And I said, well, I don't want any deformed grandchildren, so you're not marrying my daughter. But after he got off of it, he said, gee, you know what? I had headaches, and they disappeared. I suffered from insomnia. I thought that my 
vision was getting worse because of age and it cleared up. Best way to tell exactly what aspartame has done to you is to get off of it because aspartame destroys the central nervous system, the immune system. It ravages every organ in the body. And uh, you can take Dr. Roberts' medical text and just go from disease to disease and symptom, and he gives the mechanism by which aspartame causes these problems. So nobody gets a free ride with aspartame. They may not be aware of what it's causing. And, uh, and in fact, some years ago when booklets were given out here in Atlanta, a lot of people got off of it simply because the articles were so damning. And they woke up well about 60 days later, many of them saying they'd been going to doctors for years and never realized that these subtle problems were actually from aspartame. Okay, back to the phones. Uh, truck driving in Wisconsin, east of the Rockies. Tony, go ahead. Hey, good evening. Hi. Um, I was. I'm curious. I'm driving a truck, and I don't have a very good diet. And uh, I uh, like to drink V8 juice to do a lot of supplementing. Plus, it tastes good. Is there a lot of this stuff that I'm? You know, is the V8 just throwing me off, <laughs> making me think that I'm getting healthy? Or well, you have to look at the label. You know, as, I, as I've said before... If you can trust the label, can you? Yes, and that's another thing. Um, so many things are hidden from us, just like the new Cinemax, which is a flavor enhancer, like MSG, and the FDA says it doesn't have to be labeled, but it goes under artificial flavors. So it, 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 that's true, if you can trust the label. But at least uh, by reading the label... And what they will tell you, get an idea of whether it's, you know, whether you're willing to try it or not. A lot of people have gone to water, like myself, because we have found so many additives uh, in so many drinks. But, you know, that's, that's up to you. But you should at least check it out. Most of these uh, companies have a 1-800 number, and you can call and ask if aspartame is in it or uh, something that you you know, you don't want. They usually will tell you. Will they even know, though, Betty, the person who answers the phone? Well, sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. You know, like in the case when I asked about Mars, they they knew it was a natural flavor. Somebody else could have called, and the person answering the phone may not have known that or are willing to give out the information. But what do you do when there's so many chemicals and so many things? You just have to, first of all, if you try it, like V8, and you don't have any problem, then it's probably safe. But usually uh, you can tell by just trying it if there's something making you sick. Let's go next to Emily, Emily International Line in Alberta, Canada. Hi, Em. Go ahead. Hi. Um, I'm very interested in this uh, lady talking on aspartame. I uh, tried it when it first came out, and I decided it was not, to, you know, I had heard something about it, so I said, I'm not going to touch it. But natural flavors, what else have they got it disguised as? Well, if you uh, really want to find out about additives and MSG and all these things, there is a very, very good website Jack Samuels has, and it's truthandlabeling.org. And he's the man that uh, had the lawsuit against the FDA on labeling, and he really has... A lot of good information that will tell you uh, things that are hidden and uh, information on additives. Just like MSG got a bad name, so they gave it 16 other names. And uh, like you say, people wouldn't know it. That's why he has that website. You'll find a lot of information on it. Thank you. I bought a pie the other day. It was the most beautiful pie I ever bought. I said to my husband, I've never bought a pie that was as good as what I can make myself. And maybe it's full of all this junk, too, because the the, uh, the label on it was about three or four inches long with <laughs> tiny print. Well, that, you know, when I see all those ingredients and some of them you can't pronounce, it's like... 